Hello again, welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. We've got a bit of a strange one here. This is a beer, it's an unnamed beer. It's a beer with no name, really. <clears throat> it's, brewed, it's brewed up by the Great Western Brewery in Bristol. It was brewed for Whitehead Building Services. And you're probably wondering, uh, where does this fit? Why, are you, why have you chosen to review this? It's, uh, there is a name on this. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. But it was brewed as a present for all his builders and some of the site's managers and contracts managers, which, which Whitehead would know. And it's just a nice gesture, really, at Christmas time. So it really is it's an unnamed beer. It's 5.2% ABV. You're probably wondering how I got a hold of it. Um, my brother-in-law, Adrian Millard, is a building site manager on the building sites. And he was given a bottle of this by Whitehead Building Services. Or he was given two bottles, or maybe even three. But he brought them he brought them to his house, we had a little party, and he said, oh, try this, try this dark beer, it's quite nice. I opened it up, we shared it, and I was like, wow, that's, that's a really, really nice beer. That's a really nice beer. And he said, well, why don't you take one away to review? And I thought, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's give it a go. I think it's, well, it's well worthy of a review. I'm, I'm glad to be looking, looking forward to reviewing it. But, but the thing for me is I've not reviewed anything from the Great Western Brewery before. So let's get in. into a glass. It's a dark, stouty like beer. I remember tr being very, very impressed with it when I drank it just a couple of weeks ago. And there you go. Okay, so what we got? It's pitch black. One finger, slightly off-white head. Different variations in the bubble sizes. This nice creamy head. The head's dissipating quite quickly. Let's get the nose. And it's got them really nice, stouty flavours which you would expect from a dark beer, and that is, is some chocolate, chocolate malt. There's a real roastiness to the beer. It's, it's also nutty. There's a nutty nose there as well. There's hints of caramel. And it just makes you want to get in. So, cheers everyone. Wow, and that's... It just takes me back a couple of weeks ago. I mean, it's just such a good beer. It's very smooth. It's got a nice medium mouthfeel. It's slightly creamy on, on, on the inside of your mouth and it, it kind of coats your tongue. There's all them nice caramel and chocolate malts in there. And there's also this, which I found a couple of weeks ago, and it's in this beer as well, it's, it's got a kind of vinous nature to the beer. It's very refreshing, a very refreshing beer. And I just want to, at this stage of the review, I just want to rock the beer back and forth. Because it's got fantastic conditioning to the beer. When you rock the beer back and forth, you can just see it there, the bubbles rising from the side of the glass. Let's wash it round. Get another nose on it. Wow, it's, an, it's a very, it's, it's a really powerful nose. Do you know, Fair play to this great Western brewery. I have drunk Imperial Russian stouts before, which uh, this is five two, which are eight percent plus, and they don't have a nose like this. They really don't. This is 
this is really something to to sit back and savour. It's it's such a good beer. And I'm so glad um, my good brother-in-law let me take a bottle away to review. It's light, it's just... I like to talk about the carbonation levels. It's, the carbonation levels are spot on, where there's enough carbonation in the drink to push the beer, fizz it around on your tongue a little bit and, and really release them flavours. But there's also not enough for it to go in your belly and it's boom, you know. It's you know, like drinking a really gassy lager, you, you, you've really got to take your time with it, otherwise you're just going to pack yourself out. This is not that, this is going down a treat, it is sliding down. So the carbonation levels are perfect, absolutely perfect. Um, I'm going to see if there's a website which I can give out for Great Western Brewery. There's one for the builder, but it's not much point in me giving that out to, uh, to all you uh, home brewers and, and real ale experts out there. I, I imagine it is www.greatwesternbrewery.co.uk that's, that's my that's a hazard in a guess. Okay, time for a rating. <coughs> As I mentioned earlier, it's not a it's not a sticky stout. There's a nice mouthfeel, but it's not one of them big sticky stouts that, that kind of leave you wanting to move on to another drink where which is going to refresh you. This this is doing that job as well. It is refreshing me. For all them reasons, and for it being such an eyebrow-raising beer when I first tried it a couple of, a couple of weeks ago, I'm going to give this a very, very solid 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10. It's just... It's just really good. I've had worse Russian Imperial Stouts. I really have. Thanks for watching another edition of The Real Ale Guide. You can email me at realalguide at googlemail.com. Facebook is facebook.com forward slash realalcraftbeer. Twitter is twitter.com forward slash today. But thanks for watching. Comment in the comments box. I love your comments. Subscribe if you like. And cheers.